Well, Will, what's your nationality, Will? But you see what I mean? How can you say the brother is good when we ask him what his nationality is and he says he doesn't even know? Right. What we're showing our people, Will, is that you are a prince that has power with God. You're not black. You're not African-American. You understand that? Jonathan, give wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 22. You say, you pay for it, so you're still going to wear it, right? <laughs> Do you understand what we're bringing out, though? But I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to list a bunch of attributes, right? And I want I want you to answer with me, right? Come, come around real quick. We're, we're not going to hold you too much. I know you got to get on the road, but we're trying to show you something, how heavy that, that idol is around your neck, right? Because... That idol right there doesn't do nothing for our nation of people. And it's the reason why all these things happen that I'm going to show you real quick. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. Right. So our people right now, we're erring in the knowledge of God. Our people don't know who their God is, what their God requires of them. They don't even know who they are. Right. So it says not only did they err in the knowledge of God, read. But whereas they left in the great war of ignorance. You don't understand right now, bro, that you, me, all of our people right now are at war. And it's a great war of ignorance, you understand? Because think about it. You have a cross around your neck, right? And you say, that's what brings you peace. But are you really at peace? You gotta work a nine to five job, right? You're in captivity right now. That cross is not gonna get you out of captivity. You know what will? learning who you are and following this bible you understand that but we're ignorant towards who we are supposed to be and who god ordained us to be brother you're a king on this earth here you're a god on this earth here walking on this earth as a servant to that idol and to the people that represent that idol and the people that created that idol for you to serve you understand that but maybe you don't yet read on those so great plagues those so great plagues ignorance is a plague not knowing who you are is a plague not knowing how to deal with our women is a plague. And our women not knowing how to deal with our men is a plague in our community. That's the reason why our, our community is the one that's jacked up today. Our community is the one with little knuckleheads out here killing each other. And brothers with baby mamas going to jail for child support. Foolishness like that. Our community is dealing with that. Read. Call they peace. And we call it peace. We think that we're at peace right now. But it's not peace. You understand that our people are, are dying daily, spiritually and physically. Read on though. Let's see what comes from that. Read. Verse 23. For whilst they slew their children and sacrifices, are you secret ceremonies? How do we kill our children today? How are our children? What is the most dangerous place for our children to be today? Sis, what's your name? Hi. Uh, Asia, how you doing? What is the most dangerous place for our children to be? Everywhere. Everywhere? What about the black woman's womb? Bring it up! Our, our women kill more babies than any other plague on the planet Earth right now. Over 90 million children have been murdered in the last 30 to 40 years by the black woman alone through abortions. Right? But being ignorant, we don't understand that. So hence the reason why we ignorant towards God's laws, we ignorant towards that life in that belly. We didn't know that we use that as a form of birth control. We think of, but that's what it is, right? You get a, you get a girl, if you're pregnant, you know we're not keeping it, we're getting rid of that thing. You know what I mean? You're actually killing a life. You, you agree with that, sis? Is abortion killing a life? It is, right? Because when, when you go to the doctor, how do you know that woman's pregnant? They check for the what? For the heartbeat. If that heart is beating, that means that thing is alive in there. That's murder. But our people are so ignorant towards God, we err in the knowledge of God, we don't know that thing. So read that again from the top. For whilst they slew their children and sacrifices, are you secret ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites? Made revelings of strange rites. We go to the different concerts and um, um, what you call it? Um, parades and all those different things. Revelings of strange rites, which always ends in calamity, ends in a shootout. Read. They kept neither lies nor marriages. Kept neither what? Lies nor marriages any longer under foul. We kept neither lives nor marriages any longer under, guess what? Our brothers and sisters don't even get married now. 
A lot of us, before we came into the knowledge of God, guess what? We had two, three, four children, been with the baby mama for four years and never got married to her. Only the knowledge of God told us, look, you need to make that thing legit and marry that sister. Right. You know what I mean? Because our people error in the knowledge of God. We never, we made, we, ne we didn't, we don't value marriage anymore. Right? right? You want to get married, sis? You want to get married? But do our people in general think lightly or think good about marriage? No, hell no. Right. We don't think about it, but we love having sex, though. Yeah. Right? We love to smash. We love to do all those different things, but... Marriage comes before sex. What God, the knowledge of God tells us, marriage comes before sex, though. Right? Read on. But either one slew another traitorously. What people kills each other? What nation of people kills their own people? Black on black crime, right? We are our worst. If I ask you who your enemy was, you would name another black man before you name the people that put you in slavery. That's right. right? Read on. Or grieved him by adultery. Grieved him by what? Adultery by sleeping with his girl, right? Grieve your own brother by adultery. Read. We're gonna to get to the cause of it. Read. So that they rape and all men without exception, blood, blood, manslaughter, death, and dissimulation, corruption, corruption, unfaithfulness, on what? Unfaithfulness, Read. to most, perjury. Hold on, bro. I'm gonna show you real quick. A couple seconds. Come on. We're gonna to get to the yeah, point. Yeah, Read. Disquieting a good man. Go Forgetfulness of good times, the falling souls, changing of kinds, disorder in marriages, disorder in marriages, read adultery and shameless uncleanness. The Bible lists the issues that the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans are going through as a nation of people. All these different wickedness and evils are happening in our community. Let's see why. Read for the worshiping of idols. For the what? Worshiping of idols. When you have a cross around your neck and you feel like that cross is what brings you peace. When you call yourself a Muslim and go to Mecca, the Ma no black man in America goes to Mecca and has a hajj over there. Right. You don't even worship Islam the way it's supposed to be worshipped. Right. Fake ass Muslims right. is what black people are today. Right. You, ain't, you ain't willing to die for your religion or for your nation, read. Not to be named is the beginning. Read it from the beginning. For the worshiping of idols. Wearing a Jesus piece around your neck is what causes all of the, the evils that we just read earlier. Read. Not to be named is the beginning. Is the beginning. Read. The cause and, and the end of all evil. If you have an idol around your neck, if you're wearing a cross and things, and that cross brings you peace. That is the beginning of all evil and idolatry. Right. Our people need to wake up. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. I'll let you get back. Yes, sir. Hosea 4 verse 6. We watch our people walk by ignorantly daily. We got hundreds of flyers out here. Brothers and sisters don't even want to take a flyer. You'd rather be in the midst of your enemies all day long walking in your ignorance. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we erred in the knowledge of God. And the most High God is saying that his people, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, you error because of the lack of knowledge. Right. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. And we're watching a nation of people walk past us now that reject the knowledge of God. They don't even want to take a flyer to find out who they are. They rather associate themselves with black. Brothers and sisters, let me ask y'all a question. What is your nationality? Come here real quick, bro. With the hoodie. With the hoodie. Come here. Come here real quick, bro. Come here. Sister answer said we good. No, you're not good, sis. Y'all need to come here too real quick. I'm going to ask y'all a very important question. What's your name, bro? Joel? Well, Will. What's your nationality, Will? But you see what I mean? How can you say the brother is good when we ask him what his nationality is and he says he doesn't even know? What's your yeah. nationality? Come here real quick, sis. A couple seconds, sis. It'll save Will's life, especially Will. You need to be concerned about Will. Right. What we're showing our people, Will, is that you are a prince that has power with God. You're not right. black. You're not African-American. You understand that? Give me that in Ecclesiastes real quick. 10 and 7, right? Because what's going on, Will, is that you've been destroyed. The so-called black man, you're the target. You understand that? When they brought us over here on slave ships, did this who did this happen to, Will? Is this real or a lie? Slavery real or a lie, Will? Slavery's real, right? 
Is slavery real or a lie, sis? What's your name, sis? You can't get Will. Don't come to get Will. You need to come and get this understanding, right? What's your name? That's right. Honest? Honest. Honesty, that's it. You see what I mean? So let's be honest now, honesty. Who did this happen to? It happened to us, right? That's your people, right? What do they call you though? What's your nationality? Black, right? Why they don't call why do they call you after themselves? Is a thing. Right? Let's read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. He said he's seen servants in rulership upon horses. Read. And princes. And what? Princes walking as servants upon the earth. Princes walking as servants upon the earth. Because you're a prince that has power with God. Sis, you're a princess. You understand that? There was a point where your foot would not touch the earth. Get that in Deuteronomy 28. There was a point where our black women would not, their feet would not touch the earth. But why is that an issue? Why is Solomon lamenting right now? Because he sees a so-called black man walking as a servant upon foot underneath his slave masters. Because, brother, you're supposed to be better than that. You understand that? You are a prince that has power with God. Well, you need to know that thing. Let me read this about you, sis. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. Now, you, now, now, honestly, you said you was honest. And I asked you if you came here to get Will. You said no. But now you're coming to drag Will off. That means you wasn't being honest, honesty. Right? Well, hold on a second. Let's read about our sisters real quick, honesty. Hold on, read. How old are you? How old are you? You're 15. The tender and delicate woman among you. The tender and delicate woman. The princess among you, honesty. Will, you're a prince. Honesty, watch what, look at our sisters, read. Which will not adventure to set the sole of her feet foot upon the ground. The sole of our sister's feet would not touch the ground. But what happened? Read on. For delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom. Our women were meant to be tender and delicate. Now their eyes are evil towards the husband of their bosom. They're evil towards their brother. Will wanted to listen. And you got... Two sisters that didn't want Will to get the word of God so that he can rise up, get his spirit right, and become the ruler that he's ordained to be. That is an issue. That is hatred. Now, we know that this is talking about cannibalism during the siege, so we're not going to deal with that at all. Go back to Hosea 4 and 6 now. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So the Most High God is saying that his people, God's people, are the Israelites. The Israelites are the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are God's chosen people, and you're the only chosen people of the Most High God. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. But our people reject the knowledge of God, though. They don't want to hear this thing. They don't want to be anything more than a damn slave. And to be oppressed here in America. And to serve their enemies. That's all our people want. And to be in the midst of the same people that brought them over here on slave ships. The same people that hate their guts. Read that again from the top. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So God is saying that his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Knowledge of who they are. Knowledge of where their homeland is. Knowledge of who their God is. They can care less about that thing. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. And because the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men and women reject the knowledge of God, what happens? I will also reject thee. Now God is against us as a nation of people. Right. Now God has us working nine to fives, paying taxes and all type of bills so that they can build prisons to put your sons and daughters in. Right. Our women are so destroyed, they hate their hair, they hate themselves. They hate their men. But our people act like they don't want to hear this word here. Walking around with damn plates of food, buying and selling on the most I got Sabbath day. So you, you all should be ashamed of your damn selves. And you deserve to be slaves out here. You better repent. Read that again from the top. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Read on. That thou shalt be no priest to me. No, you'd rather be a damn dope boy. Or you'd rather be a pimp. Or you'd rather be a damn whoremonger. Or a thot. Or you'd rather be a rich entrepreneur here in America. Land of the free and home of the damn slave. That's what you'd rather be instead of a priest 
of God. Give me the knowledge of God, Malachi. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it on. The priest lips shall keep knowledge. So our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Let's see what that knowledge is. Read. And they shall seek the law. The what? The law and his mouth. But they tell us that the laws of God are done away with. The laws of God being done away with is the reason why our people are so damn degenerate out here today. Homosexuals, drug addicts, weak as hell in the spirit. They can't defend themselves even against their own women rule over our men. Weak as hell because we reject the knowledge of the Most High God and want to go worship the damn universe. Some foolishness. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word.